PGP local preference attribute. So this is uh, obviously from Cisco.com and this is what I'm going to talk about in this video. So let's just take a look how it, I mean, what it is. So local preference is an indication to the AES about which path has preference to exit the AES in order to reach a certain uh, network. A path with a higher local preference is preferred more. The default value for local preference is 100. Unlike the weight attribute, which is only relevant to the local router, local preference is an attribute that routers exchange in the same AES. You set local preference with the issue of the BGP default local preference value command. You can also set local preference with route maps as the example in this demonstrations, as, this, as the example in this section demonstrates. Uh, I actually have a separate topology, I mean different topology than what they have here in this document. So this is what I'm going to use. This is the topology that I'm going to use in this video. And I have already configured um, the basic con BGP configurations and OSPF as well. Uh, BGP and OSPF configurations here. And I did um, advertise this route, which is if you look at in the topology, this route here into BGP. So let me just uh, uh, explain, I'll talk, about, let's uh, talk a little about uh, this uh, topology. So R1 is an AS4, and it's, like I said, advertising this route into BGP. And R1, let's say R1, R4 is an AS4, and it's advertising this route into BGP. And R1, R2, and R3 are all in uh, AS123, and they have IBGP peerings between each other. And of course, R1 and R2, I mean, R4 has a EBGP peering, and R2 and a, R4 have a EBGP peering as well. So let me just let me just show you the BGP configuration on R1 first. Okay, I'm gonna do the same command on all the routers. Oops. Copy and paste. Okay, you can see here that, like I said earlier, R4 is advertising this command, I mean this network or prefix into BGP, and the rest of the routers are not advertising anything. So there are no networks, network statement on them. All right, so let me just check the BGP table on R1. So we see that uh, that uh, we are our next step to get to this prefix is this, which is R4, and we have another path or route which is R2. So that's what we see on R1. Let's check R2. And of course, by the way, uh, if we check the routing table, this is the path that is going to be the next step that is going to be in the routing table because um, that's the uh, best path. And if we check R2, and so we have two paths as well, or routes. So uh, the best path is this, which is the external uh, uh, neighbor, R4. And there's another path, which is R1. 
let me just check R3. Okay, so from R3, uh, we can either go to R2 or R1. So currently, it is now choosing R2 as its uh, next stop. And of course, if we check R4, next up is itself. So it it's originating this prefix uh, itself. Okay, so I'm going to I have prepared prepared the uh, the the local preference command and the BGP default local preference. So by default it is 100 as it's said in the document. So let's see. I'm just going to copy and paste this and just clear. And let's check this command. I mean, you, let's issue that command. And it is now, I mean, it is still learning a prefix from R4, which is expected. And then we check the BGP table. Uh, yeah, it's learning doesn't have the the uh, alternate route so <clears throat> it's only using this route here let me check r2 okay from r2 it is still using uh, this path the reason is I mean it's not still using but it's now using this path uh, this path here to get to this route before it was using the uh, external neighbor, which is R4. Now it's using R1 as its next stop. And of course, this one is just uh, alternate path. Let us check R3. Okay, so from R3, we only see one path, which is uh, R1. Okay, so that's how you can um, influence the outbound traffic from from your uh, local AES. And in this case, we are using multiple routers. And by the way, uh, before from R1, I mean from R3, it was using uh, R2. Now it's using R1 to get to this route here. So that's how you can use that command to influence that uh, the outbound traffic. So I'm going to actually use another, I'm going to do, I mean, I'm going to use a route map and configure or set the um, set local preference. So I'm going to just delete this first. I mean, delete it. I haven't, I did not see it myself. I mean, yeah, it's here. So I'm going, I'm going to delete it and then just going to copy, copy and paste these commands. These commands. Okay, done. And then apply it to neighbor R4. So again, 10.10.14.4 .10 is R4. So in because we are uh, influenced. Uh, influ trying to influence outbound traffic. So you apply the, the policy inbound and then save. And I'm going to just clear the BGP session. And let's check the our neighborships with the other routers. So I, I see because uh, it didn't actually, I mean, it didn't turn down the BGP's uh, connections. You can see it here. So yeah, now same scenario. We are only choosing R4 as our next stop. And from R2, yeah, we are still same scenario as well. But uh, you can see that, you know, the local prep is now set to 500 but before it was uh, 100 which is 
uh, default. And I think we should see the same on R3 as well. Yeah. So yeah, that's how you can configure BGP local pref and I mean BGP local pref attribute and influence the outbound traffic. So again, when you say outbound traffic, um, you are trying to get to a network um, from your local AS. So network in another AS from your local AS. So this is this is a this is a good example here that we can see. I mean, because we can see that these routers are trying to get to this network here in AS uh, four. So yeah, uh, that's how you can configure BGP local pref attribute. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.